couple of weeks ago I um, conducted some coolant tests uh, and I showed you three easy ways to test the coolant using one of these coolant testers and um, a multimeter. It, it passed the test in terms of clarity and uh, freeze protection but it failed on the multimeter test so I've done the coolant change and I'm now going to just run those tests again so you can see for comparison. So once again I'll just take a sample of the coolant. And just the same as before, ensuring that I've got enough above the fluid level indicator just there. And as you can see, I've actually got freeze protection there down to minus 29. It will actually improve slightly. I'm still at the, at the moment doing my um, top-ups of distilled water. So, um, so the actual reservoir itself is uh, a slightly weaker mix than the rest of the, the system. But also, as you can see, it's really clean and clear, as you would expect with brand new coolant. And on the back of the tester, it tells you the, um, the boiling protection as well. So it's protected up until getting on for 128 degrees Celsius. 262 Fahrenheit before it will actually boil and change state to a gas. So that's the first two tests as expected pass nice and easily. So I'll put this back in the tank and then we'll do the multimeter test. Okay so for the multimeter test same as before just got the engine running had it running a couple of minutes just to get a bit of warmth and circulation going. Uh, got the multimeter set on volts now, whereas before I had a reading of, the reading that you're looking for is less than, well, really 250 to 200 to 250 millivolts, but ideally really less than 200 millivolts. So previously I had it on 2000 millivolts because um, it ended up being a reading of 800 millivolts, around about 0 0.8 volts, and that's what prompted me to do the change. So I'm just going to uh, run the same test again, see if I can get the angle on the multimeter without a shadow. And just the same as before, test it on some good known earths. So I'm going to put the red lead on one earth and the black lead on another, and that should make the multimeter go to zero. And then the next one is to take the black lead and put it inside the coolant and I'm looking for less than 200, to less than 200 millivolts. And there we go. So hovering somewhere around about the 100 millivolts, sometimes going up to, what was it, about 130, something like that. And that's exactly what you're looking for on fresh coolant because that means that all of the um, all of the the old coolant has been flushed out and that was starting to carry trace elements of metals that were starting to oxidize from the pipework and maybe the heater core radiator and that's all been changed out now We've got fresh coolant in there the rust inhibitors are at the peak of their powers and, um, and as a result the coolant is showing very very little and certainly a lot less than the uh, 200 to 250 millivolts maximum. So if your coolant is showing over 250 millivolts you just get it changed out, you get, you get the old coolant flushed out, get a new good quality high strength coolant in there and um, and jobs are good and there and that so that's the conclusion showing the effect after a coolant change and as you can see very quick very simple tests uh, to enable you to ensure that your coolant is um, is still effective and doing the job that you want it to do hope you find that useful thanks for watching